what's up guys welcome back to the channel again we in the new year 2021 happy new years to you this is the first tutorial of the year so you know we gotta start off with some kind of cool man something simple for you guys to do to add a little flair to your photos for the new year and this is a moody filter that you can put on top of your photos this is not a preset so it's not something that uh, can quickly just be slapped on top of a photo we're going to do this manually i'm going to show you how to go through manually and do this and then if you want to go ahead and make a preset if you know how to do that uh then you can go ahead and do that but uh come along and uh follow along with me as we go ahead and go into making this moody filter now today I'm going to be using a picture of my homegirl Jazz um, that we took last year. And we're going to, it's a, I would say the best thing to do is try to use a well exposed photo for this. Uh, because we're going to be editing a lot of the shadows, a lot of the, the blacks, um, we want to use one that's already well exposed so that we don't uh, have over shadow. If that makes any sense, we don't want to crush our blacks too much. So we want to go ahead and do that. So as I said, I have this photo of her and I'm gonna go ahead and open up filter. So I'm doing all this in Photoshop, if I didn't make that clear, editing all this in Photoshop. So we're gonna go up here to filter, camera raw filter. And that's where we're gonna do, start doing a lot of our edits. So I'm gonna come in here to basic. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna bring down some of the highlights in the photo uh, because I don't want to have too many areas where there's a lot of you can see along in her leg this it's very hot that's the term we use when their whites are kind of uh too bright um drop the i'm kind of gonna up the exposure a little bit but i'm gonna drop the contrast i'm gonna drop the whites a little bit and then i'm going to boost my shadows to probably about a plus 11 Cause like I said, I, I used a photo that was not the best. Drop my blacks down to a negative eight. And then I'm gonna up my clarity to a plus 20. I'm gonna go plus 13 on that. Come to your, your vibrance. some of the photo, the key points of the photo you want to try to like pull out. Um, so I'm just going to mess with the blue a little bit. Of course the green, I'm going to bring in a darker green. Uh, oranges. also have a magenta kind of pinkish skin tone so you're trying to um and what i mean by that is like our highlight in the sun will sometimes give off that hue and that's where we get the tone like red bone uh because we have that type of because of the way our melanin is in our skin so if you're any black people you want to mess with that a little bit not too much just a tad bit just to get your, your skin tones uh Plus 
just me, no more hands. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Just to kind of kind of add to that moodiness, a little vignette, negative 41. It's not gonna hurt. Come down to the effects. Let's make sure we're clicking everything we got. I'm gonna come back up here to the curve real quick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit uh, linear points on here, RGB. Kind of give us a little S curve, slight S curve. That's what we want. You know what I'm saying? So we got everything we need for right now. Go ahead and hit OK, and let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna make a duplicate later, later, <laughs> which is uh, I'm working at Apple, so it's gonna be Jay. photo of you Let's see. I just want to mess with just a little bit you know nothing too heavy you know I'm gonna get that going then we're gonna go to color lookup I'm gonna go to where it says abstract I'm gonna load an abstract profile Abstract profile. I'm gonna mess with the blue tones in the picture. You know what I'm saying? Got a little blue. And just turn it completely blue. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the opacity on this to about 26%. That's what we wanted. Then I'm going to go to color look up again. And this time I'm gonna come to the 3D LUT file. And what we want for this look, we want to go to Kodak 5218, Kodak 2395. All right, so just so you know, that's the last Kodak uh, LUT profile that, that's on the uh, the Creative Cloud Photoshop. That's what we want. Again, I'm just gonna move this out the way real quick so I can look at that. I just re I really want that moody I really want that moody look you know so that's that's why I dropped the opacity on it because I want to add in the darks as much as possible um, and again I have my curves tab open all right and I just want to mess with the gray so I'm only gonna mess with this bottom most point here on the uh, curve you know and just drag that up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, about right there. We reached the end of the photo. Again, this photo is going to be up on my story. On Instagram, at OnlyPhotos. On IG, if you want to get this look, just follow along this tutorial. And trust me, you'll be able to add this look on top of your photos. I want to thank you guys so much. Uh, for tuning in we got more tutorials coming your way it's just the first of the year so make sure you're, on, you're in tune for that man and again thanks for all everybody who like comment subscribe on the videos we're on our way up to gaining more followers man trying to bring you guys along as we enter this new year i want to thank you guys so much and see you on the next one peace